And that is for now all we can do here. Now, let's go return. We still need to give the autograph to the old Koot, after all. Alright, see. Let's go see if Koopa Koot still lives here. <laughs> Looks like he does. Autograph for you, sir. Jumping jungle fuzzies! <laughs> You're peerless, Mario! My word! Good gracious! Oh, oh my. What beautiful handwriting! <laughs> be still, my heart. Uh, that is... This will be the heart of my collection. <laughs> You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time, I will give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Looks like we're going to be getting a better reward this time around. Voila! Three star pieces. Now, with the final one taken care of, let's go see if Chocquismo is going to be nice to us. Looks like he's not going to be. <laughs> he could still be on the other screen, though, so... Um... Yeah, here he is. We can do another question. <laughs> and that way, eventually, we will get there. What do we have? Question? What color are Luigi's pants? It should be the same one as Mario. Blue. <laughs> Only their shirt and their hat is a different color. The pants are the same. Star piece. Eight questions so far. Although it looks like we still need to do a lot of grinding at some point. Something I don't feel like doing quite yet. <laughs> now, before leaving, there's of course uh, a couple of letters that we need to deliver. Oh, what am I doing? The toad's not in the shop. <laughs> The toad is in the toad house, of course. And this is where you can find the toad. We actually had the letter for him. So. Mort T. Yeah. Thank you. A letter? For me? Oh, it's from my wife. How sweet. I love her so. Um. Phew. Oh, pardon me. I got really wrapped up there. That wife of mine. She is so cute. She makes me crazy. Thanks for bringing me joy. Here, take this, okay? Oh, luckily this one is for a star piece again. <laughs> I was all worried for another chain letter. And speaking of chain letters... The Koopa in front of the Toad House is actually the next one. <laughs> How are things, Mario? Going swimmingly, I hope? No, we've got a letter for you, so... <laughs> Not swimmingly. Hey, thanks. You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter myself. Of course. I wasn't expecting anything else. <laughs> oh, would you look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And to think, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about the trip. Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, uh, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It is to a friend of mine who is always fishing at Toad Town Port. He is easy to find. Thanks again. The next letter is apparently for Fishmael at Toad Town Harbor. Another complicated location because we um, have not seen that part of Toad Town yet. <laughs> there was technically nothing for us to do, but uh, I think technically we can do stuff there now. There's also another side quest there, and I think... Yeah, with uh, Dry Dry Outpost unlocked, we should also be able to do that one now. So, I'm not going to wait out on this letter. I think it's time for us to take the first look at Toad Town Harbor. The final area in Toad Town we haven't seen yet. This part of Toad Town we briefly uh, went into. There's currently nothing too important to do here. But even further to the left, we actually reach the harbor of Toad Town. There used to be nothing uh, to do for us here, but I think with Chapter 2 completed... Now we actually have business here. First up, of course, this uh, pretty obvious fishing guy. <laughs> Stay still. Curse your height. On the hook with you. It will hurt you only a minute, you blasted little wriggler. Cut it out now, here. I ain't gonna be bait. Leave off. Come on now. Was he really planning on using life bait? That guy looks sentient. Don't use him for bait. <laughs> here, have a letter. Perhaps that's going to distract you a little bit. <laughs> Hmm? What's this then? Shiver me, Timbers! Word from Coover! Nasty said he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Yar, that reminds me. I've got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? Him? 
Why the Koopa Trooper who asked you to bring this letter to me? <laughs> Coover's the name. Yar, and take good care for the love of fishes. Of course we get another letter. And what's worst? Now we need to bring a letter to a person we've already seen in the chain. <laughs> Making it even more annoying. But anyway, like I said, there's actually another side quest we can do in Totown Harbor. So now that we're here, might as well also check that one out. Other than that, there's actually um, pretty much nothing to do here. There will be later on, so don't worry. This is not a um, completely useless area of Toe Town, but... Uh, <laughs> For now, we're going to enter the club. Here, we can actually do a side quest. Not precisely too sure what the reward was again, but we will find out pretty soon, I guess. Um, I think we need to talk to the um, diva and the songwriter here. It's about them, actually. I'm Simon. I'm rhyming. The folks who know it, I'm the master poet. Poor pop diva cannot sing, but my lyrics are just the thing. If my lyrics really rock, our pop diva will be cured of shock. I'm tragically stuck though, cause my last line's a no-show. Later, plumbinator. Oh, you're a much better rhymer than Merly. <laughs> but it seems these two are having a bit of a musical uh, setback. In order to actually solve this mystery, we need to um, find a composer, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, hi, I'm Chanterelle. I'm known around here as the pop diva of Toe Town. Oh, I used to be able to sing any song perfectly, each note a masterpiece, but those times are behind me now, perhaps forever. The sight of Peach's castle flying high into the sky was such a shock. I haven't been able to sing since then. And now, now I'm a pop diva who cannot sing. Cruel irony, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it is something we um, should be able to solve. These guys are actually not going to be talking about it by the looks of it. So I think we need to um, actually head to dry dry outpost ourselves. Before we're able to find out how this works. So I guess we're going to go there. <laughs> Chakwismo. Yeah, you are here. Of course. <laughs> so first it is quiz time. Question number nine. How many members are there in Gumbario's family? Goombario, Goombaria, Goompapa, Goomama, Goompa and Gooma. So that makes six. Let's hope the Goomba brothers are technically not part of their family. <laughs> okay, that was an easy one. And now the real reason we were here. Letter delivering time. This one actually returning to the person who gave us the last letter in the first place. <laughs> so we know where he's going to be. Now this one is going to be for Coover again. This guy. Time for another letter, sir. Oh, thanks. Cool. It's from my pal. This must be the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. It'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. It is to Mr. E, who lives in the desert. He's most likely hanging around in the front of the Toad House. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. A letter to Mr. E. It sounds like this letter actually needs to go to the Riddler from Batman. <laughs> Mr. E. <laughs> Mr. E. <laughs> Mr. Edward Nigma. Oh, I'm going to be needing at least 200 episodes the moment I need to start uh, collecting all of his Riddler trophies in the Arkham Trilogy. <laughs> Let's not think about that quite yet. Let's go uh, actually try to find Mr. E. Let's also try to find Mr. Chuckwismo, shall we? Oh, oops. Oh, me and my button trigger happy fingers. Yeah, that's what you get if you actually mash the B button to skip the dialogue. You sometimes also actually press the no option. <laughs> and Chakwismo is actually annoying enough to leave the moment you uh, say no. And he's not going to be returning, so never mind. I love this town. I don't care that the desert is so harsh. There's no place like home. I was born in Dry Dry Outpost, and this is where I will stay. Yeah, since you're going to stay here, I'm going to give you a letter. <laughs> That way you're at least easy to find. Gee, thanks. Oh, look, it's an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter the next time you're in Toe Town? 
It's the Miss T. She lives there. She's one of the three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot. Alright, at least we're not running around in circles anymore. This is another new person. <laughs> But anyway, since we are still in Dry Dry Outpost, we're also going to take care of that composer guy that we should be able to find here. He's actually in this pink house over here. He actually looks familiar. Kind of like the lyric writer from the club. <laughs> he is going to be the missing puzzle piece. A composer! Yes, that's me! I write songs, as you can see. Wind in the desert, some old rock, free mind sister. A uh, singing blister, la di da di. I'm terrific at writing music, but I think perhaps I'm not so good at writing lyrics. Yeah, that is pretty obvious. Oh, um... The rest of the quest is apparently not triggering, so I think we need to go back to... Um, Toad Town to actually uh, continue this further. Now that we know this guy exists. So, let's go see. Oh, yeah, of course, I uh, forgot about the magical seed. Um, remember in Chapter 2 where we actually got another... Magical seed. I'm pretty sure I never gave it uh, to this girl. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, the three amazingly beautiful sisters. We've seen them uh, every single time we've passed by here, I think. Or perhaps not. <laughs> but it's actually these three. One of them is going to be the girl we need to talk to. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. I do have um, shared dialogue, but... Yeah, the letter won't actually trigger until we um, speak to the right person. Apparently it's this one. The left one. <laughs> okay. Next letter in the chain. And we all know what it's going to do. <laughs> Who is it from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh, well. I'm always getting love letters from strangers. <laughs> I'm super popular. But enough about me. It's so lucky you came just now, Mr. Postman. Will you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to the shop owner at the Dry Dry Outpost. I order lots of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It is not easy staying beautiful. It takes work. Will you please deliver this? <laughs> Thanks. Now we need to return to Dry Dry Outpost again. We're getting nowhere crazy fast. <laughs> Let's return to the club, because I think we need to talk to the guys over there again. We should be able to actually uh, commence this quest now, now that we've talked to the composer. Oh, that final right line just jumped into my mind. Sit tight, oh plumbing knight. Yeah. The race is won, now I'm done. I'm not really one to boast, but talent, I've got the most. <laughs> now to my lyrics, race a toast. Cha-ching, pop the fable, now sing. Ah, uh, but... I'm afraid I just can't sing without any music. What? Oh, threat and drear. My mind wasn't clear. <laughs> Lyrics aren't the only thing Pop Diva needs again to sing. Without music, it's quite clear. The diva's voice, none will hear. Mm, what shall I do? What shall I do? Who can pair my lyrics and music to? I know who. I heard a rumor that somewhere is a composer beyond compare. Special power his music brings. Can it help the diva sing? Mario, I'm on my knees. Won't you help, pretty please? <laughs> Here, take this and go. Find the music. Save our show. Now we get the lyrics, indeed. And that is how it worked. Now we're returning to the desert again. <laughs> oh, we're getting thrown left and right in all of these side quests. <laughs> and we've only got two chapters unlocked. Yeah, this line I'm of course not going to read again, if you don't mind. Sir, I've got something for you. Hmm, what's this then? Well, uh-huh. Fantastic! These are incredible lyrics. The wording is simple. Yet whoever wrote them packed them with powerful feeling. It has been a long time since I was moved by something so deeply. They moved me so much. I just thought of a beautiful music to accompany them. Wait just a second. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Phew. I've written the perfect music for these lyrics. I caution you, though, that this music can be sung only by an expert. I know of no one up to the task. Here, take my masterpiece. Yeah, but I think we know a master. <laughs> we know an expert. 
And an expert is called Chuck Quismo, who's not in the desert. <laughs> One more chance. No. It's my own damn fault for actually uh, screwing up with the B button. Let's quickly still go to the shop over here. We still got a letter to deliver after all. Little Mouser. I don't care about your shop uh, right now. <laughs> we are here on postal duty. I'm really starting to feel like the postman of the Mushroom Kingdom now. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, this is an order sheet from one of my regulars. Good deal. She's one of my best customers. She orders things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you cannot beat deserts, lemons and limes. You can find them in the oasis. Oh, if you make a juice with those things... Mmm... Oh, hang on, almost forgot. Can you do me a favor? Please deliver this letter to a boo called Frankie. Frankie lives in a mansion way out in the far edge of Forever Forest. It may be tough to find him. Thanks. And I think this is actually where our chain of letters will stop for now, because Forever Forest... And that happens to be the area we need to go for, for Chapter 3, if you may remember. <laughs> they actually talked about the invincible Tubba Blubba. And he is actually at Forever Forest. So, this side quest actually finally stopped for now. We've delivered plenty of letters. But this one we cannot deliver quite yet. So that one... Chapter 3 needs to commence. We are finally done. <laughs> Oh, that took way too long. But at least we've got all of it done. So we don't have to do it later. <laughs> that is the plus side. Now, let's also go finish off the Pop Diva quest. And I think we are golden. When it comes to post chapter 2 side questing. Oh, say it is so. That is music, no? <laughs> Even then he's rhyming. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's the best. With this music, we rejoice, for it will give Pop Diva voice. Now, Chanterelle, please do tell, will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't wait long. Oh, it's perfect. So beautiful. But, what if I can't sing it? Hey, 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 it'll be okay. You can do it, nothing to it. Be courageous, sing it loud. Warble on, sweet and proud. <laughs> yes. I will try to sing. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Now, I'm curious as well. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Bravo! Hear, hear! This sweet song has brought me tears! To Mario, our greatest thanks, because of you, Pop Diva Cranks! I can sing! Laddie! I'm overjoyed! Thank you! You saved me, Mario! I wish I could do more, but here is a small gift! Please treasure it! The attack affects D badge! Well, decent was for a badge, so not completely useless, I guess! <laughs> I wonder what the sound is going to be. Let's equip it and we shall see. Even I'm going to start rhyming now. <laughs> right. Um. Bling! Yeah. The bell was new. That is apparently the uh, attack badge. Alright, let's do this carefully now. Press A the moment he actually is prompting us. <laughs> and still do one more Chocolismo question. What will you receive when you get the right answer in a quiz? It's a me! <laughs> Star piece. <laughs> it's a me! <laughs> you receive one Mario! <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Well, still got 10 questions, despite my failure in the desert. Oh yeah, speaking of desert, there's one final thing I could actually uh, quickly check out. That is the star piece I actually skipped there, because of Colorado still having a camp uh, at the tree. <laughs> I can quickly take a look and see if he's actually gone now. After giving him the artifact, he should actually uh, depart at some point. I'm not too sure if that is going to be right now. It might be later. Do remember, this is actually something you have to do. I'm pretty sure Colorado won't actually return from the desert if you don't give him the artifact. And he's going to keep on uh, 
excavate in the desert. And we do need to have Colorado out of the desert later on in the game, so... <laughs> do make sure to actually um, get the artifact in the ruins and give it to him. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have to give him the artifact. Now, let's go quickly take a look if he's gone. And in the meantime, I can actually close off this episode, because... Like I said, we are done with side questing in Chapter 2 for now. Next time, we're going to be continuing in Chapter 3. Next episode... Oh! Why? <laughs> Stupid twister. But anyway, continuing my story. Next time, we're going to be um, continuing the story. Because Chapter 3 is going to be at the start of the next episode. And it's time for us to take a look at Forever Forest and the Invincible Tabba Blubba. Whatever that may all mean. But we shall find out. We're also going to find out if the star piece is going to be available to us. The answer is no. <laughs> Screw him. Dreeks out. See you folks next time. <laughs> Alright, before really closing off, apparently there's still one more question I'm going to do. Because this guy was nice enough to show up. What is the name of the smart toad living in Toad Town? Smarty would have been nice, but uh, I'm afraid it is Rusty. I would have called him Smarty. <laughs> awesome, another star piece. Thank you very much. Now, once again, Shriek's out. See you folks next time in Chapter 3. The story will continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching.